Hi, I'm Jose. In this video, we will talk about the effects of alloy elements on the macro structure and the properties of high magnetic steel. One of the most widely used alloy elements is um, molybdenum. It has a strong affinity with iron and a low diffusion rate, which reduces the precipitation of carbides and eliminates the net lag pattern in the austenite grain boundaries. Adding molybdenum to high magnetic steel can also slow down the precipitation rate and reduce the temperature at which carbides are formed. This improves the plasticity and the strength of the steel in its cast state and compensates for the shortcomings of adding chromium. Afterward quenching, molybdenum can be dissolved in the austenite to delay its decomposition. The steel can also be treated with precipitation hardening to improve its wear well resistance by causing carbides to form in the austenite. Apart from molybdenum, other alloy elements that have significant effects on the macrostructure and properties of high magnetic steel include vanadium, which refines the grain size, and titanium, which eliminates columnar crystals and improves wear well resistance and mechanic properties. Rare earth elements can also purify the molten steel, reduce the number and the size of inclusions, and improve the flowability and the processability of hemagnetic steel. That concludes our discussion on the effects of uh, alloy elements on hemagnetic steel. Okay, that's for the whole video. If you learned some good stuff from this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below the video if you want some more technical knowledge. Head over to deeperheavy.com and hop on the insights of partial wear parts.